Hello everyone, welcome back to SoCali Riffic. Today we are here at Universal Studios Hollywood. We are here for our weekly updates. We're just gonna take a walk around the park, see what's new. So come along and let's go. I didn't get to see him last time, but Branch is now out meeting with guests as well. He is now meeting with Poppy. Okay, we did receive the Gudetama popcorn bucket. And look at this. Oh my goodness. They also have the shirts, a plushie. Okay, we have this one. And we have this one too. Oh, and it says Universal Studios Singapore. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. So how much is this going for? That is so cute. $13. That's a good deal. Yeah. I also like this headband as well. This is so adorable. Right, so that is so cool. They got stuff from Universal Studios Singapore. $21 for that. They also got this cup. $17 for this one. But look at this plush. This plush is so pretty. They also have like little t-shirts as well for adults. So we just finished the studio tour and we got our studio tour updates. The first updates that we got were the Killer Clown Maze construction update. Again, you can't see too much, but I'll still insert the clip just to show you what it's looking like currently. Camera cranes and tracks we needed for the shots. We had to build our own mission control. Pretty cool, right? Really amazing to see just what you can build here, you know? And as we head towards the Bates Motel, they do have like a new sign and it is promoting like the new Nope set, the Jupiter's Claim. And also they have started Terror Tram construction right in front of the Bates Hotel. You can see like all the fences are going up. They're laying out like the maze layout. So that's super cool. But with that, that means Norman is no longer in front of the Bates Motel. I did see him in front of the house, but he wasn't there today because they were filming today on the set of Nope. I think they were doing like a lot of promotional work. So as we pass by, the gates are down. So I tried to peek in as much as I could. And another thing I noticed is that Bloody Horse is no longer bloody. It's like silver now, so. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to come back next Friday just to see the Nope set, drive through it. And this is why I do the studio tour right in the morning for these updates because it was a walk on when we came and now it's all the way over here. You know it's a crazy day. We're in the Harry Potter line all the way back here. My goodness. Here is your weekly update of Super Nintendo World. I do notice that there are some piranha plants that have been uncovered. We do have a little new flagpole over there by the restrooms, another Mario one. We saw the thwomps, they look pretty good. And now the Goomba is also uncovered. They're still working on the warp pipe. No green paneling as of yet, but everything is looking so nice. Also, it looks like there's like a fire drill meeting or something going on over here. So we stopped back into the Hello Kitty store. So when we went back in, they did get the Hello Kitty popcorn bucket. And that one is so pretty. They also got a plush, a pillow. So I'm so glad that we went back to check just to see if they got a restock, and they did. Jenny ended up picking the popcorn bucket, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And my sister ended up getting a pillow and a Gudetama headband, so that one was super cute as well. And the Frankenstein and the bride were actually looking at it. It was so cute. I only have the footage on my cell phone, but I'll insert it in here just so you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, they brought out the popcorn buckets like the first round and everyone grabbed them. So they're going like hotcakes. So let me give you a closer look at the Hello Kitty bucket. This is actually Jenny's, but she let me borrow it. This is so pretty. You can see here it says Hello Kitty in a heart. This is what the strap looks like. How pretty is that? And in the back it says Hello Kitty and this is where you would put your popcorn or however you like to use it. You could even use it like as a little purse. It is just so cute. I love this. If you'd like to know the price on the popcorn bucket with a discount, they do accept discounts. It was $23.27. All right, so we are heading into City Walk because I want to see if they have any updates over here. So let's just go take a quick look. So right over here at City Walk at the MC, they are promoting that new Nope section here. Right in front, it says come right through Jupiter's Claim at Universal Studios beginning July 22nd. How cool is that? Looks like we have more progress here at Tootsum's Chocolate Emporium. They are doing some more construction. There is some more like tarp work. 
things are moving along here as well. Okay, you get to see what the current progress inside is looking like. They're definitely working in there, but it's pretty empty for now. I haven't been over here in a bit just because after the parks it's just so hot to walk over here. But I just wanted to come and check out like the current status of these mazes. And as you can see, nothing too different. We do have some trees over there. And in front of this one, some trees as well. But it looks like the scarecrow is still covered. So this is just the current status of these mazes. Okay, I'm currently using my phone. I'm currently using my phone. And I don't know if you can see it on my phone, but it's like a little bedroom scene. Right there. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. So it was a super busy day here today at Universal. So we did not stay long at all. Um, there were a few updates, but what we did find, it was super cool. But for now, don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, because we're gonna have more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye guys.